Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Karina. So I am so sorry, this lighting is bad. I have like no makeup on, I put on a lip and a lash. But today we are gonna go over to Universal Studios Hollywood because honestly, besides going to the movie theater, I have not been there in so, so long this summer. I've just been so busy, but Halloween Horror Nights opening night is next Thursday. So today is Saturday that I'm filming this and it's only a couple days away. It just had opening night in Orlando, so I want to check out the new merch that is finally out for Horror Night starting next week, and also just the overall, like, final update and scope of the land so I can know where I'm going, who I'm seeing, what I'm doing on opening night. And as someone that's gone to Horror Nights for many, many years now in both parks at this point, I'll give you guys some tips and tricks and kind of just, like, overall helping you plan your trip to Horror Nights. So I went there last night to a movie and saw some of the merch. So we're gonna check out some of the City Walk stores because that's as far as I got yesterday. And then we'll go into the park, see what they have in the stores in the parks, and also tear trim updates and overall decor that is all over the park getting ready for opening night. This will probably be the most up to date video because opening night is only a few days away. So I would assume that a lot of it is ready for team member preview probably on the Wednesday night before Thursday and then Thursday being opening night. So let's go check out what's going on in the parks. Okay, we're starting with the tribute store. I think these are really cute. They have these all the time. They just added him though. This Universal Monsters collection they like always have. Looks like they put out some stuff dedicated to Slash, which if you know the Horror Nights lore, Slash does a lot of the scores for the houses. And then they have this Crow, which he was a big hit last year. And they have our Eternal Bloodlines section and some Insidious stuff. This looks like it's a belt bag, and this one looks like more of a backpack style. Opening night in Orlando was yesterday, and apparently the Insidious house is the scariest house they've ever had. So I'm curious to see how ours will compare to the Orlando one, but I do like this like faded long sleeve that they have. I feel like it's very rare that they ever have long sleeve shirts for Horror Nights. They also have this Little Boo sweatpants, which Little Boo is big in Orlando, but I see they're trying to bring her over here to Hollywood. And then these are always cute. These are like their take on like pop figures, which I collect a lot of them. I have a shirt just like this that I got from Horror Nights in Orlando about two years ago. And then some additional pins and an ID pass holder. On this wall is a lot of Blumhouse. So this is a poster. Then you have these patches. And then they have things dedicated specifically to the terror trams. Like this hat has the terror tram on it. The front of this jacket is the terror tram. And on the back is Blumhouse some cups that are Terra Tram and Blumhouse themed. And then this is one of the glow in the dark black light reactive purge shirts because they always have the purge as part of the Terra Tram. And then here's another short sleeve shirt. I just dropped my glasses. A short sleeve shirt with Blumhouse on it. This whole wall is dedicated to Ghostbusters. So they have what looks like a child size hoodie and then this like letterman jacket this is actually really cool especially i mean for those times that it gets cold but it's priced at 95. and they also have some sweatpants that are ghostbusters themed as well with some bucket hats and some really bright merch then on the ghostbusters they have a lot of hair accessories keychains pins and some candy along with some cups and then some more 
very bright on the greens and purples of the merch on this wall. Here is another Ghostbuster shirt, more themed to the entrance of Universal in the most recent movie being Frozen Empire, and then a Quiet Place shirt, and it does say on the back, rule number one, don't make a sound. This is some more of that Little Boo merch. So they have a hat, looks like a coaster, some ornaments, a little backpack, and then a shirt with her on it with like the original Horror Nights theming. And it looks like they have a lot of jewelry, fun like accessories, jewelry themed to Horror Nights. And it looks like most of it's by the company Filthy Rich. Like these earrings are cute. This is some more general themed items and then they have their weekend merch over here too. So this is a hoodie that just has some of the horror icons on the back. A turvis, a shirt with it on the front. Can you make a list? Make and they do have these Tervis tumblers. Quiet Place candles, which they actually smell pretty good. And then they have these two for the weekend. So this is a hoodie and it says Nightmare Trilogy on the front. And then it just has the weekend on the back, which looks about the same as it was two years ago. And then they have these hats as well. Okay, it was really, really loud in there. I don't know if they always have the music playing that loud or it's just maybe because it's daytime so the music's loud because there wasn't a lot of people in there. But that was the Four Nights Tribute Store on City Walk. So now we're gonna go to the big store at City Walk pretty much right before you enter the park, see what they have there, and then we'll go inside the parks. They did add some stuff to this Minions monster store, so we'll go inside and check out what's in there. So it looks like they added a lot of spooky Minion themed things, so like all the zombie Minion stuff up here. Like they're actually so cute. Then they have just a lot of little Boo stuff in here, not too much Horror Night stuff. So they have this little Boo pillow. This looks like a bag. Oh, I think it's, I think there's a towel in there or something. A bag, some socks. They do also have these cute little sippers. And it looks like some more of the backpacks here and then some little wristlets. And then this is the back of the front entrance display of all the little boo as soon as you walk in the store. This is the front of that little boo display when you walk in. So they have little boo potted plants and then some of the shirts on the mannequins. But that's pretty much all they have in this minion store. On the far side of this store, there's a lot of creature of the Black Lagoon. Like there's this like jersey mesh set. And then some tins. They also have candles, the stuffed animals, coffee mugs. Let's see what the candles smell like. I can't even smells very green and clean. This is the display when you first walk in. So a lot of that generic first merch that they put out before a lot of the houses were announced. So some shirts, candy, pins, a lot of masks over here on this corner wall. And then this is a big display of a lot of the merch. So there's stickers, beanies, these little shot glasses that are skulls, some snacks, and then the a lot of the radioactive, like blue light reactive shirts. Over here is a lot of the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire merch. So same shirt that we saw in the other store. They also have a candle here. I'll smell that in a second. A hat, a zip up version of the Ghostbusters sweater. 
these cups with a straw. Socks, a lanyard, another zip up, and a coffee mug. All right, let's smell the candle. It smells like bubble gum. They have some more of that weekend stuff. This is the only weekend stuff I've been seeing so far. It's literally just the shirt, the hat, and then the hoodie. I do think I am going to get the hoodie, though, because I do think I want weekend merch. Here's some more of the generic stuff. So they have this, like, Tervis. says where horror lives. The coffee mug that also says that. And then the hoodie as well. On this side, we're back to the Terror Tram Purge Blumhouse theming. So the shirt with all the icons on the front with the Terror Tram, which I might get just because the Terror Tram is unique to Hollywood. And then the cup and the zip up that has them all on the back. They do have some Chucky stuff. I think they had this shirt last year because they, they have Chucky involved pretty much every year. But the shirt says, want to play. And then they do have a hand fan, which these come in handy during horror nights because it gets really hot. Then they have some backpacks with Chucky on, which I think they had last year as well. And then they have this beanie that says Chucky and these collectible ducks of Tiffany and Chucky. They also have this shirt with Tiffany and Chucky on it that says, want to play. And then it looks like some coasters and some pins as well. Then this area is their Universal Monsters area, but it's always like this at this City Walk shop. Sometimes they add new stuff for Horror Nights, but mostly stays the same. So there's a coffee mug, a Tervis. I think these are blankets or towels or something in here. I don't really understand what these are. The candle again, and then some figurines. And then here's kind of the rest of the wall. So a lot of this stuff they do have year round, but sometimes they add a little bit more to it during horror nights, especially because we're going to have universal monsters. Okay, the music is very, very loud today in all the stores. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to redo those clips of the voiceover or what, because the music is very loud and I'm not trying to get copyrighted, but I also wanna make sure you guys can hear me, but we are heading into the parks now to see what's in the shops over here, if there's anything different and just overall decor updates and probably just like a final walkthrough before any small changes that are going to be made between now and opening night. So upon walking in between like the big stores, you have this photo display that is like a punk rock van and then a photo op of Chainsaw Punks right outside of the two main stores when you walk in on your left. Here's that entrance display. So as soon as you walk into the big store, you have a bunch of the just generic theming for Horror Nights. So a lot of that, like, I was almost going to say radioactive, but blue light and black light reactive glow in the dark merch. You have some more of it on this wall, but it actually looks like there's some other things that the City Walk store didn't have, like this crop top which I do love a crop top to open in the back too which I did not see it looks like they also have a candle here but the rest of it is pretty much looking the same all right here's the candle so let's see what it smells like oh this one this one smells good it's green like the creature of the black lagoon candle is but this one this one smells good Looks like they have a lot more of the Little Boo merch in here as well. A lot of it being the same as the City Walk store. Same for this shelf right here as well. A lot of it just being Little Boo. And then they also have Dios de los Muertos stuff that they bring out every year as well. Normally they decorate the courtyard with this theming. Here's some more of, again, same as they have in City Walk, but the Murder of the Crows, the Purge, Slash... Users' cups and shirts for the most part, as well as the weekend shirt and hoodie. This is the other really big display for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire when you walk in from the other entrance. Two of them each, and then like, uh, we have to part right here. So a lot of it still being the same that we've seen in the other stores, which is good news because you know that you can go to any store to get a lot of this merch right now. 
So they have the zip up, the two different types of shirts, the hats, the mugs, cups, lanyards, pins, different things. They also have a lot of that bright purple and green Ghostbusters, like OG Ghostbusters merch here as well. And they do have that like Letterman jacket over here too with the cups and some of the bucket hats. The middle section has a lot of miscellaneous merch. So they have like the double ears, which I wear every year, some of the Terror Tram merch, and some more of that jewelry from that small business brand that does a lot of like horror related accessories. And then just some more of those light up ears and things as well. This is the backside of that mean display in the store. It's a lot of the same things. They did put out some more Chucky figurines. So like this old Chucky is so creepy to me. And then we, of course, have Tiffany. They all have QR codes at the bottom, so I'm sure that's kind of like the story and maybe even potentially pricing info. I'm not sure if you can purchase these. Then they also have a figurine for the seed of Chucky, and he's just blinged out in so much style. And then this terrorizer Chucky with no hair and a collection of ears as a necklace. This entire back wall of the store is more of those Universal Monsters things. So pretty much anything you can think of regarding Universal Monsters back there. Some more Blumhouse merch right here. So this is like a drawstring backpack, the shirt and the cup. It looks like these cups are like their new thing that they've been doing for everything. They have one of these cups with this type of decor or lore on it. Like they have one with King Kong and the trams. Like this is, I think, their new collectible thing with some themed cups. This is the Chucky display. This one does have more. Like, they did have this shirt last year. I almost got it. And then they do have this overalls, like, loungewear set. And then some more of that same shirt we saw in the City Walk store in the backpack. But they have these lunch pails, like the tin lunch pails, those collectible ducks, the pins. And then they also have these mugs with, it looks like a different Chucky shirt than what they had in City Walk as well. They did actually bring back out a bunch of Jupiter's Claim merch. This was really big last year when it was like the first time it was open for Horror Nights, but it looks like now they're just bringing back some of that merch. So this is always available on the Terror Tram and the regular studio tour of going through the Nope and Jupiter's Claim set and I always thought this hoodie was actually really cute because I like that it was kind of a tie-dyed distressed hoodie. Here's some more of those studio streamers. So that same long sleeve shirt that we saw and pins and some more Dios de los Muertos and then it looks like they have the cups here as well which I did not see in the City Walk store. Here they have way more Insidious themed stuff so they have like the cups which I've mentioned looks like they're making a big push for collectible cuffs, a hat, shirt, and that drawstring. And then this shirt is different. They didn't have this in the City Walk store, and it's like a tie-dyed demon Insidious shirt. And then some more of the Red Door shirt, the mug, and then it looks like they have a candle and this little belt bag as well insidious candle i'm assuming it's going to be red red of course oh this smells good to you is that insane is it insane to say the insidious candle smells good this one smells good this one and the halloween horror nights like branded one those are the two best smelling candles here's some more of like miscellaneous merch because I don't really know what this is supposed to be. It kind of reminds me of like a Demogorgon, but they don't have Stranger Things here this year, so I'm not sure what it is. The Quiet Place Scented Candle, and it looks like they have cast member shirts for Murder of the Crows. So it does say pass holder on the sleeve. And then I haven't seen too much of the Quiet Place, so this is really the same shirt that I keep seeing across the board. And then there is this mug as well. I'm sure they're going to put out more throughout the season and probably over the next like four or five days. But 
for now, this is like all the Quiet Place merch that I've been seeing. I will say it's very interesting. They have Mel's Die-In merch here. This got really big in Orlando, so I'm actually surprised and happy to see it here, but I might have to get one just because, but it's a glow-in-the-dark shirt, and then it looks like a bloody waitress uniform that says Mel's Diner on it, which could be a cute costume potentially. Also looks like they revamped this display case with some new items from us, Chucky, The Mummy, and Van Helsing. Over here by Waterworld, which is going to be the Purge show, is the Chucky Die-In Bar, which this is normally a bar area every year. I think last year it was a Peacock Bar, but it looks like it is now themed to Chucky this year. And it looks like they brought back the Hello Kitty Chucky collab. So now they have this. This is like a little crop top, which I think is actually really, really cute. And then these little stuffed animal Hello Kitties. Some mugs. And then these shirts, which those shirts sold out very quickly last year. But I think this little yellow sweater is actually really cute. And then that pillow down there I did buy last year that also sold out so, so quick. So if you want any Hello Kitty Chucky collab, you need to come to the Hello Kitty store and get it quickly. And it looks like we have two demon red skeletons that are greeting us at the fire towers when you walk in. So there's one over here, one over there as well. So you have this one over here on the left side as well so when you make your first left you'll have the mantras house which is always normally in the same place you can see in the corner but that is where the sign is and then in the old walking dead attraction is where the quiet place maze will be and it looks like you can't really tell too much from the outside it just has a sign above that says a quiet place on it but you can't really see anything inside back here this middle courtyard is always themed the same every year of dios de los muertos so you'll see a lot of the same decor every year like the flags and then there's a big bar in this courtyard as well sometimes they have scare actors in here too that are dressed up in skeletal type of attire but the margaritas and the drinks here are really fun normally every year, so I'm excited to try some of those out. Looks like they've decorated this food stand with Good Guys and Killer Chucky, so I'm not sure if they're going to have themed food here or what. Here's the front facade of the Montrose house. It's pretty much been in the same place every year, so it's one of the first facades you ever really see, but they put so much attention to detail in this. This is the right side of it, so you can see all these baby dolls in the trees. They're over here casting spells and hexing people. Very excited for this house. Normally, this one is a really good one, so I'm excited. Then heading down the French and like Parisian area. This area back here is the VIP lounge, so if you do the RIP tour, this is normally where you have the buffet and you go to eat. This is everything on the right side of this scare zone. This is a white screen because normally they're displaying things on it um, throughout the night. This is the other side. This is the side that empties from the house, but all of it is a scare zone. This is where that house empties out of.
Then on this side, it looks like we have a legit wrestling match going on. Here's an update on the Fast and Furious coaster as well. It looks like they just put up a Horror Nights display photo off, but this is what the construction progress looks like so far. At the corner of the Dios de los Muertos bar, which is kind of outside of where the Blumhouse Theater is, is this facade of crows. I'm assuming this is where the scarecrows and the birds scare zone is going to be between here and Blumhouse after the fire towers. Kung Fu Panda Theater is going to have the late night show with Chucky. Also outside of the Fast and Furious construction, it looks like they have some more of that crow set up. So it seems like this is going to be an area where scare actors are going to be as well and maybe doing a sacrifice. Okay, now we're going to go on the studio tour because the wait time is 30 minutes right now and the last tram leaves at 6.15 and it's like 5.30. So I want to make sure we get to do that and then we'll go down to the lower lot and see everything else. I was going around from soundstage to soundstage and I really felt in my own young way, I owned the lot and had the most amazing day of my life. This is the whole recording. Oh, you like going? Part of Norman Bates runs this place. He's always trying to level up. Airbnbs and verbos are coming for him. So the Halloween this year. That's so unlike him. Oh, that's creepy. Well, he's pretty smart. He made sure that that Hollywood side, he got a view of himself. So scary. So freaked out. I haven't been able to watch a PG-13 movie since. I think that's why I was so scared of everything. But I don't know. another word. Okay, so we are viewing the backside of the house from here. This is like before the last set of escalators before you go down to the lower lot. And it looks like it is a van that crashed into something. So interested to see what the exit looks like for that maze with that looking that way but can't really see too much else. I will say I've not been on the studio tour since they revamped everything for the 60th anniversary. They definitely look different. Um, they like redid where they put the movie cars and stuff, but you really couldn't see anything for the terror tram. Like, I don't know if maybe they're behind and they're about to make a lot of progress in the next four days before opening night, but you really couldn't see a lot compared to other years where you could see a lot on the tram from this point. But overall, the 60th anniversary version of the studio tour is definitely different than the regular studio tour, which I was completely not expecting. Okay, next to Jurassic, they have the entrance for dead exposure sign. I don't know if the queue is going to be like over there. There normally isn't one, so I think it's a little strange, but... This is where the queue for it is next to Jurassic. Over here is where the classic weekend nightmare bar is. They had the weekend bar here two years ago. Last time they had the weekend house as well. And last year it was like a Stranger Things themed bar, but looks like it's back to the weekend theming and it's closed off so you can't go up. But this bar normally has a couple food items and then some pretty good drinks. And sometimes you can get away with a full service drink as well over here next to the jurassic world entrance you'll see the sign the queue entrance for eternal bloodlines i'm assuming you're gonna walk through the jurassic world enclave and then that'll be the queue for this house as well here is the leather pieces barbecue food i wonder if they have they do have the menu out this is exactly what it looked like two years ago when they did Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So it does look the same, but they did have some decent food here last year. And it's down here between the mummy and Transformers. After walking away from it, I just realized those are Grinch Mist drinks. That was like randomly a Grinch menu that's maybe still on there because they don't want to give away the menu too early. But I just realized that. So ignore those drinks on there. 
over here by Super Nintendo World, you'll see the queue entrance for the weekend maze. Normally there's two houses or three down here in this area outside of Transformers, but it looks like only the weekend house is gonna be over here on the left. Then on this right side of Transformers is the queue entrance for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which will be down this way. Down this way is normally where they had two houses last year, but it looks like because of construction, Universal has the houses in different areas for the first time in the past couple years. So I'm back in the store buying my merch for the end of the day, and it looks like they just put some of these out. I overheard they were putting out more merch throughout the week, so maybe I'll come back, but they do have a Chucky hoodie, and it just says Chucky on the front, and then it says Snitches Get Stitches on the back. And it says Child's Play 2. I might end up getting this before the end of the season because I do love me some Chucky. Okay, I actually look insane right now with this lighting, but from what I can tell from doing these videos the past two years of like HHN prep, especially like four days before opening night, um, they look very unprepared, underprepared, like, I don't know what the word is. I don't know if they are about to move mountains over these next, like, four days. At least by, like, team member preview, which I would assume is on Wednesday and then opening night on Thursday. So, I don't know why, but they look the most, like, underprepared at this point in time than I've seen them in the past couple years. So, fingers crossed that they move those mountains within the next four days. I don't know if I should come back on, like... Monday, Monday's a holiday. I don't know, I don't know how much they're gonna add or is gonna be visibly noticeable that they've added over these next couple days before opening night. I will say I bought some merch and a couple things about merch is everything that you saw in this video is the primary, like, is the primary amount of merch that you're gonna see through the season. I was speaking with the clerk that checked me out for my merch and he said, they're only gonna release a couple more pieces. Like he mentioned a flannel um, and some key icon stuff. But other than that, majority of the merch that you see is like the only merch that's gonna be out for the season. Like they're not like gonna be putting a lot of newer items that aren't already out. Um, and also the weekend specifically because I got the weekend hoodie. So I was asking specifically about if they were getting more weekend merch they're not so the shirt the hoodie and the hat that you see is the only stuff they're gonna have for the weekend and he said it's been selling out so when i got the hoodie he said he literally was surprised that they even still had some in stock so it is selling out they're not putting more of it he said he doesn't think the weekend is on any of the other stuff that has like the entire like house lineup so if you want any weekend related merch get it now when you see it because you might not see it again as a reminder this is the hoodie i got so on the front it says nightmare trilogy and halloween horror nights and then on the back it is just like the weekend and the faces so if you see any of that make sure to get it if you want it because it may or may not come back again throughout the season but he's not really going to be on anything else so those are your three options other than that though i am super excited every year this is like what i look forward to this is like my christmas my new year's every hall like every holiday put together halloween season like come september 1st like i am in my most juiciest plump best era of my life that exists because I just live for spooky season so regardless of them looking a little bit more under prepared than normal in years past like I am so so excited for horror nights so stay tuned for my opening night vlog and video I will be trying drinks and food and have house walkthroughs scare zone terror tram all of that good stuff in that video so be on the lookout for that. I will post it by Friday morning, aka the day after opening night. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy spooky season.